Hello, Dolly friends. It is Gina. And in front of you, I have my two beautiful identical twins, Cindy and Mindy. Cindy is holding her baby doll, Dolly. And Mindy is holding her favorite rabbit, Bailey. That is Bailey the bunny. And Bailey the bunny is actually a Scentsy buddy. From, and we got, we ordered Bailey from our dear friend and my nephew and the girl's cousin, Gilly the Monster. All right, guys. Now, today we are participating in Toddler Tuesday. This is being hosted this week by Amanda at Mandy's Cuddlebug Nursery. It's also often held... Uh, uh, <laughs> try that again. It is also often hosted by Renee at Renee's Reborns, Sam at Reborn Love Babies, and Cena at Cena's Dolls. Well, this is bedtime routine with our toddlers, and today I have both of my girls in a pair of brand new pajamas. And so we are do also doing J Dolls, uh, oh my God, new clothes. Hashtag new clothes with hosted by J at J Dolls UK. Yee. Sometimes I just can't talk, guys. Anyway, both of the girls are wearing a Carter's pair of pajamas, but I'm going to start over here with my Cindy. And Cindy has. A blue trim around her collar with a little satin bow. The shirt is white and it has a pink kind of a lavender and blue butterfly. And then down the front of it, there's a bunny with pink and blue and lavender colored flowers and the little bunnies on her shirt. The cuffs of her sleeves are blue. And then her little slacks have a blue background and they have beautiful flowers, gold and blue and peach and uh, pink and green and gold leaves. Then next to Cindy is my gorgeous Mindy. And Mindy has a pink trim around the collar with a little pink bow. Her pajamas, the background is a pale blue, and the Paw Patrol characters are on it. And they're in gray and blue and pink. And down on the cuffs of her sleeves are pink trim. And then her slacks have more Paw Patrol characters on it. And at the cuffs of her pants, pajama pants, are pink. And so there we have both of my girls in their pajamas and both of the girls have had a bath. We have dried their hair and we have brushed it. They have brushed their, they've had a snack and brushed their teeth and now they're in their pajamas and they're holding Dolly and Bailey and girls, do you want mommy to read you a story? This is usually what we do next. We have story time. No, mommy, don't read us a story. No, mommy, no. Mommy, no, don't read it. Tell us a story. Tell you a story. Yes, mommy, please just tell us a story. Because sometimes you do funny voices. Yes, mommy, your voices can be funny. All right, girls. What do you want to hear? We want to hear, we want to hear the three bears. Okay. All right, I will tell you the story of the three bears. Well, once upon a time, deep in the woods, lived three bears, a mama bear, a papa bear, and baby bear. Well, the bears decided that they were going to go out for a walk because mama bear had made porridge for the family to eat. But she, they decided they wanted berries in their porridge. So off they went. In the meantime, there was a little girl with beautiful golden locks, just like Cindy and Mindy. In fact, her nickname was Goldilocks. So Goldilocks 
was getting very tired and very hungry, and she came upon the three bears' cabin. So she went and knocked on the door, but no one answered. So she tried the doorknob, and the door slowly creaked open. She went inside, and she called, Hello, hello, is anyone home? But no one answered. So Goldilocks said, Well, I'm very hungry. They've got this porridge, and it sure smells good. So Goldilocks went to the first bowl of porridge. Oh, she said. She sat down in Papa Bear's chair, and she said, This chair is way too big. Let me have a bite of this porridge. So she took a bite. Oh, she said, This porridge is too hot. So then she went over to Mama Bear's chair. Well, this chair is a little better, but it's still not right, she said. But I'll try some of this porridge. And that porridge was just too cold. Brr. So then she saw Baby Bear's chair and she sat down. Oh, she said, this chair is just right. And she tried the porridge. Oh, yum, Goldilocks said, and this porridge is just right. So then she went upstairs because she was getting very tired. She walked up the steps and she went into the bedroom. And there in the bedroom were three beds. Well, she got in the first bed and said, oh, my this bed is too hard. So then she got into the second bed and said, Oh no, this bed is too soft. So then she went over and she saw another bed and she said, Oh, this bed looks just right. And she climbed in and you know what? It was just right. That's right. It was baby bear's bed. Papa's Papa bear's bed was too hard. And Mama Bear's bed was too soft, but Baby Bear's bed was just right. Well, Goldilocks fell asleep, and just then the three bears returned. Hey, Papa Bear said, someone's been eating my porridge. Oh, no, Mama Bear said, someone has been eating my porridge. And Baby Bear said, Somebody ate my porridge and they ate it all gone, <laughs> said Papa Bear. So up the steps they went. And what did they find? But Goldilocks sleeping in Baby Bear's bed. Oh my, Papa Bear growled. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. And Mama Bear said, and someone's been in my bed. And Baby Bear said, someone's been in my bed, and they're still there. And at that, Goldilocks woke up, and she looked around, and she was scared. And Papa Bear said, what are you doing here? And Goldilocks said, I was hungry and tired, and I came to your house, and I'm so sorry. And, Go and, he and Papa Bear said, you don't belong in our house. And Goldilocks ran down the steps and ran out of the house, never to be seen again. So, what did we learn from this story, girls? Mommy, can I say, go ahead, Mindy. We learn that it's not nice to go in somebody's house and just eat their food. And not everything could be what, the way you think. And what about you, Cindy? Well, I don't think it's good to... I think you should take a nap before you go to someone's house. And, well, she should have not gone so far in the woods that she got that hungry and tired. She should stay closer to home. I think that's a very good idea. Well, girls. Mommy, one more thing. One more thing. Yes, Mommy, one more. What is that now, girls? Mommy, please, please, tell us one of your jokes. Okay, but then after this, it's time 
for bed. Okay, Mommy. Okay, Mommy. All right. What do you call an alligator who is a detective? He's an investigator. <laughs> Remember, everyone, that God loves you and he's always there for you, no matter what you're going through. Take care and have a blessed day. Bye-bye, my dolly friends, and we hope you enjoyed this edition of Toddler Tuesday.